Every campus has its own places. Formal offices, classrooms, lecture theatres, workshop labs, as well as informal places, a cafe or tea room for example. As we'll see in the following interviews, everyday architectural places often turn out to be very important in the development of an informal culture of peer review. Since the faculty structure started, we don't have faculty-wide meetings anymore, or things like that. Division-wide, we used to meet twice a semester apart from exam meetings, so you did know what was going on. But now with the faculty structure, we don't know who, who's in which department. And I don't know what's happening in the other faculties. I used to have morning tea and lunch in my own room at my previous university. But here, there's this wonderful room where people can come and sit and talk and share and it's a great social space. We need a sitting room or at least a place where we can actually sit together. In a uni uh, I worked at a few years ago we had a room. It was really wonderful. Morning tea was 10.30 to 11. It wasn't just one department, it was three departments in the building. We all sat together. And if somebody was having a birthday, everyone shared cakes and things like that. I really like these incidental moments between lectures and meetings where you can take time out and talk to a colleague and um, see how things are going, you know, that sort of thing. It's great. The type of spontaneous conversation you might have in, say, a tea room is not the same as the sort of conversation you would have if you made a conscious decision to knock on a person's door. Certainly there are times when you need a formal meeting space, but these informal spaces are just as important for building peer and collegial relationships. I quite like popping over to the coffee cart. I always manage to run into someone and have a conversation about students, exams, technology, research, workload, whatever. But it's not just pleasant. It's very important to make connections and have a catch up with people that I might not usually see if I'm locked up in my room. Think about your own experiences. What sort of places and spaces do you think encourage communication? What formal and informal spaces are available to you and your colleagues on campus?